well, actually, it was just kind of poor timing, I guess, that he happened to run into those mines at the perfect time that, um, uh, I mean, I gotta hand it up, Magic, for having that that spot staked out very well with those tanks in a perfect spot. Now, uh, Huashin, though, does have the advantage of that spotting. His, his barracks floating over there, he, so he's gonna be able to see um, up Magic's tanks a lot easier. And up, it looks like Huashin is gonna be able to um, take that spawn that uh, that spot after all. One of his tanks blowing up, and the <laughs> and in opposition, up Magic's tank blowing up as well. So he's not quite. He needs to take out that other tank and secure that position more before he can take that that uh, that extra. Um, node though, and he really needs to because Up Magic is getting that third node uh, without contest right now. And if Up Magic gets economically ahead, he has shown that he is capable of, of using that and, and not. Um, he's capable of, of using that kind of advantage to, to beat Huashin, and uh, as he did in the first one. And um, yeah, so <laughs> Huashin really needs to get, uh, get that economic. Huashin coming up with a little bit of a drop here. It looks like his dropship is not. Quite okay. His, his dropship survives barely. Uh, four Goliaths coming out there. I'm not sure how Huashin's uh, dropship is going to get out. It looks like his dropship did die, and uh, Huashin uh, picking off uh, Up Magic's dropship as well. So neither player are going to be able to drop on each other for a, a minute or two here. Uh, mines going off, killing a lot of units. Um, basically, uh, that seemed like kind of a, a wash to me. Uh, Huashin losing a lot of units, but we're taking out several as well. So that was um, relatively well done. And it looks like Up Magic though concentrating on on setting up a, a perimeter here on Huashin. Luckily for him, he was able to um, push back there, push down. So he's able to mine off of that expansion right now. And here we see that barracks uh, coming in uh, handy, being an advantage there. He's gonna be able to take out that tank. And uh, he has his SCBs nearby to repair his tanks as well. So Huashin uh, definitely uh, strongly taking that spot there. Uh, very well done on his part, and um, and uh, Up Magic's little try and uh, attempt at containment at that spot is not going to work after all. Huashin does have another uh, dropship out. It looks like uh, Huashin is just trying to brute force these mines. There's a ton of mines there. They might not work though. A couple mines go in. He does lose a Goliath and damage the others. And uh, those Goliaths are both very, very damaged. If he tries to drop those in there, that's going to be uh, a really kind of a bad plan there. It looks like he is just going to use those to protect against uh, dropships dropping on his tanks, though. He is uh, just using that dropship to spot right now, uh, even though his units are very damaged. So he's going to do a little bit of damage here. And there's Goliaths coming in. He's got to spot. He's got to target those dropships if he's going to do. A lot of times you see um, players going with that counter drop, and the Goliaths start attacking the dropship, and one thing pops out of the dropship. And, and they're not concentrating on that position particularly, so the Goliaths refocus their fire on the ground unit, and they don't take out the dropship, which is what they really, really need to do. Um, and uh, here we see, uh, finally, uh, Hoshin's dropship driven back by uh, a Goliath popping out of that, that factory there. That factory is burning right now. Uh, I imagine Out Magic is going to be able to save that factory, but in the meantime, uh, Huashin doing a very good job of, of setting up a siege now, uh, encounter, setting up siege outside of Up Magic's base, and Huashin looking very, very focused there. You can tell that he, he knows that this is a match that he has to actually concentrate on. And um, I, I, I imagine, wow, that's that's pretty good, by the way. I, I, I've seen that. Um, you can see Up Magic kind of putting his buildings out there, spotting for dropships. Um, very, very good maneuver on his part. And here we see that barracks coming in handy again. Uh, Comsat going off though, so Up Magic is able to spot that position uh, with his Comsat and take out those tanks preemptively. He saw that barracks floating in. He might have actually um, predicted the fact that uh, those tanks were there and um, and done something about it. So um, very, very, very good play in general by by uh, Up Magic. We see there Bashin see targeting those dropships. Targeting the dropships is key in a Terran versus Terran game like this, especially in that kind of a situation. And it looked like uh, Up Magic actually dropped his, his forces out of that dropship just out of um, uh, desperation because that dropship was getting attacked. I, I'm not sure I didn't see what was, what was happening just before. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, though, uh, Up Magic targeting those dropships, not just targeting the ground units and letting the dropship escape. Very, very, very important. Um, uh, going back to that, what I would call almost a landmark game between Boxer and Flash, that was basically the difference between them, and the, the difference between an experienced player that can multitask extremely well and, and just a, a very good player. <laughs> um, Flash is pretty good, I have to say. Um, anyways, Huashin going in with a big drop here. Um, Huashin all up in Up Magic's base now. This is looking extremely bad for Up Magic. Uh, for some reason, his, his unit's just a little bit too spread out, and um, uh, wow. Hashin's units just all up in his base. He's trying to build more factories. 
The SCV has been taken out by, for one of the factories. He's, he only has two factories going right now. Only two factories. Washin has at least four right now. Uh, Up Magic having to bring in SCVs. Those SCVs are going to get taken out, though. More forces dropping in from uh, Washin. It looks like he took the forces that were down below that ridge, though. So he doesn't have as much support coming from below uh, to really continue that attack. And it looks like Up Magic is going to be able to hold off that drop. In the meantime, though, um, Washin has gotten another expansion there. So he's using... Uh, this, this is exactly what you see from... Uh, I mean, this is really what what happens in a long StarCraft game is is one player gets an advantage and they you don't just win in a fell swoop. I don't remember who said this, but someone else said this first. You don't just win in, win in one fell swoop usually. You win by, by taking an advantage and then pressing home that advantage slowly and steadily, using that advantage to gain more of an advantage and using that to gain more. And that's exactly what Quashin is doing, although um, Up Magic is expanding right now uh, as well. So he's trying to keep things even economically. Uh, in fact, he has his, his uh, third expansion up a little bit quicker than than Quashin, it looks like, uh, putting up some turrets around as well to stop those dropships. Um, I still have to kind of give the game to Quashin right now. His, his output level uh, has been more consistent for the last, uh, his output of units, that is. His output level has been more consistent for the past several minutes. Um, he, he stopped production out of uh, some of those factories. He killed, he almost killed one factory, and he stopped the production of two more factories. So, um, really, uh, Magic has just had those factories up very, very uh, recently, and um, uh, unfortunately for Huashin, oh, Huashin getting completely attacked over here. He's, his his uh, base over here is completely defenseless. Um, it looks like he was, oh, because all of his forces were ready for this drop. Huashin's forces all in the south side there, so it looks like he's going to trade bases here. Um, he does have some forces coming in, so if Washin can actually stop this push and take out that bottom right base of Up Magic, he will have taken a definite, definite lead in this match. And uh, it looks like uh, Washin trying to take uh, another uh, base in the bottom left here. In the meantime, Up Magic's base in the bottom right corner completely slaughtered, and uh, Washin not stopping there, just loading his forces back up. Uh, to take those to do another uh, attack somewhere else. So that's why uh, Huashin did not have the forces to um, protect his expansion there uh, in the middle because all of his forces were down in the south uh, doing that drop. It looks like he's going to come in for another drop here on another one of, Huash of Up Magic's expansions. If he loses this one, that's basically going to be it for him. Um, uh, Up Magic coming in to do a counter drop. Huashin has not seized his tanks at least, so so he's not going to blow up his own tanks or anything like that. Um, but he just doesn't have the forces right now. At least he was able to his, run his dropships away. Excellent defense by by Up Magic there, uh, bringing in all of his forces to counter drop there. In the meantime, though, Washin has taken a couple other bases, but that base is now in danger because he does not have any forces to drop back on the forces that Up Magic is delivering right now. 